everybody. We are back at the road that we have been working on. We are, let's see, right here is where we left off. And I started to do the road in silence. And then I realized this was a good illustration of how I let the roads dictate the terrain. So you can see the road is in and connected, but um, we have to work on the terrain here now. And I'm going to have to break down and move that castle, it looks like. That's all right. But I um, thought I would make a video here of the connection. And of how the, uh, the train is now going to be dictated by the road. So, I'm going to do some terrain work now. We don't need this. Get rid of that. Get rid of this, too, because we're going to be doing some raising, mostly. And a big brush, maybe right about there on the strength till we get it up high, and then we'll slow it down a bit. So let's start over here. And it's a good idea not to change the edges of this road until we have the terrain where we want it. Just for sight purposes, it makes it easier to see where we're at. Oh, here we go. I'm going to raise it up through here. First step is make sure we don't get too much of a slope coming from our side. According to your strength, uh, kind of dictates also the speed at which you want to move your brush because it'll get out of control on you real quick. First thing I like to do is I like to get, get my little white arrows as even as possible and as close to the bottom of the road as we can. Still gives you about a foot or so under the road. Um, maybe half a meter, I don't know. But um, at least we know it's close and uh, we can ease into our levels better that way. So it is uh, it's the 15th of February, it's about 20 to 4 right now. I should be putting miles on the car so I can get it smogged, but I'll do it tomorrow. I'm not in the mood for a bunch of driving today, really, uh-oh. See, I got a hump there I didn't want, but that's all right. We will smooth that all out and go from there. We just want to rough it, get it generally all in the same level according to the road. That's meaning the same closeness to the bottom of the road. Then we just go from there, do our adjusting. And then I do my blending with the textures and the side and the planting and the trees. And right about 
here where we're at with the brush is where it's going to start start into uh, start winterizing a little bit of snow is going to start get a little uh, powder on the ground you know and ease into the the cold snowy textures because by the time we get over to where the the tall castle is it's going to be all snow and ice there's a story behind that but we won't get into that right now okay doing okay here oops I didn't want to do that Like I said, we're going to come back and smooth all this, so the bumpiness is not that much of a concern just yet, momentarily. <clears throat> momentarily it will be. Let's see, I just want to even things out. Let's get a better angle on this. Yeah, see, I can't really see these dips from up in the sky. I have a tendency to build up in the sky and then something I always like to say is make sure you walk whatever you build from the sky because guaranteed you're going to miss something from up in the air but the rough again and such I find is easier from up in the sky And even though these arrows are helpful, the little white ones, they also let dips like this get past you sometimes, unless you come down and take a closer look. <laughs> okay, so... I think it's time to do some smoothing right here. And smooth, make sure you turn that all the way down and we want a brush maybe about that big. Down a little bit. Smooth will change things drastically, so be aware that once you put the smooth on there, you want to have allowed for it beforehand because things are going to be completely different once you're done. from a certain angle sometimes the smooth will raise rather than lower it all depends on the angle and where you've grabbed the terrain that will mean oops oh I didn't want to do that let's see here right about here there just raising it 
you got to be careful on the mountains too because the smooth will take out your character of the mountains your little tendrils and your roots and things like that so you have to watch what you're doing or just go back and you know raise where you flatten too much And doing this, it's raising this dip up a little bit, which then allows me to come back this way, and this will come up as well. Right. Okay, let's see how we're doing. I like that. Right here. Now yeah, it's too much of a dip. I don't like that. Now, ah. to put it back on the raise, a bit more strength here. All through here, too. down, turn the strength down, come back at it. That's better. It's better already. What happened there? Okay. Worry about that later. Looks like we've got an edge here to deal with. I think we'll have to put a blender piece in there because we have that white patch. These guys are really cool. They have really good textures, but I, I wish they either moved or see. Look at them. They're really cool, but they're all in the same position. You know, it'd be good if you could move them about. But oh, there's three. Hmm. Yeah, see the body itself though is one piece and you can't really pose them, which is a shame. Be nice to be able to change them a little bit. I had that same problem with the dwarves. I got one dwarf and can't pose him. You can change his clothes, but that's about it. Okay, let's see. Might have put too much of a dip in the road here, but it'll be alright. Okay, so we want to raise it a little bit. Brush about that big strength about there. Mm -hmm. oh, sounds like I'm missing Jerry Springer. Oops, dang. Well, I'll come back and fix that. Let's see. Right here. Yeah. There. Looks pretty good so far. 
what are we at? About 15 minutes. Go a little bit longer. Maybe another five minutes or so, and then I'll come back after more progress has been made, or maybe I just keep going. You know, it's got to be a boring video though, because I, I tend not to say much when I'm doing terrain. It's my favorite thing to do. I don't know why. It's uh, satisfying. It's one of those things, you know. The hard part, I'm not going to lie, is going to be making the transition from no snow to snow. You can see it's really snowy here and it's not much room. And then once it gets up here to the castle, then, you know, it's all snow. So I don't have much room to make the transition. Kind of why I've been putting off this area, but I've gotten to it now, pretty much. The place I haven't started as of yet is the uh, Gildan, the Oven City, and uh, the Steampunk Pirates. So. Let's get a bigger brush here. Let's see one raise. A little bit stronger. Yeah, this is going to change this mountain a little bit. It's all right. It needs a leg coming this way, anyways. Oh, I heard her chair. She's on the move. I am going to stop this video right now. And I'll be back in a little bit after we make a little bit more progress. Okay, so I'm going to see you in a bit.